Hello from Slide Nerd and Hello from Waves. What's up, folks? In this video, we are going to talk about interfragment communication with the help of an example. So, here I have my activity in gray color, fragment 1, orange, fragment 2, another variation of orange. So, going here, there is a button click me on the fragment 1. I click on this button. Inside the fragment 2, it should show the button was clicked once. Click again it should show the button was clicked twice. So this is a simple example of fragment communication. So I'm going to make this in Android Studio and show you guys how this works. So I'll be using Android Studio to demonstrate how this thing works. So the first thing we need to do is create a couple of fragments. So go to the package, right click, new, Java class, say fragment A, click OK. So this is a plain old Java class right now, extends, fragment, that makes it a fragment. Same way, let's create another one. Go to the package, right click, new, Java class, say fragment B, click OK, and there is fragment B, which is a plain Java class. Extends, and I go fragment here, and that makes it a fragment. But creating a Java class is not enough. We need to also define how it looks, and that's done in XML. So going to the layout, right click, new, layout resource file, I'll call this fragment underscore a for the first fragment make a relative layout as the root click ok so there Android Studio creates a layout for our first file let's go to the design tab and add the button here right top left new button go to the text tab here and I'll call this click me also to make sure how the how big the fragment looks I'll give this a background color I'll say background hash ffbb00 which is one of my favorite colors, the orange color. So now that is done. Next, same way, we need to make another layout for fragment B. So I'm gonna go to layout, right click, new, layout resource file, say fragment underscore B, select the root as a relative layout, click OK. And there, Android Studio has created another layout for us. This time, I'm going to put a text view inside by dragging and dropping a large text. Go to the text tab here, and for now, we'll just keep it as it is, but, we will give a background color so that we know exactly how big this thing looks. Background has 99cc00 which is a variation of green color. Suggested by Android developers in their Android Color Swatch forum where they talk about standard colors to be used with Android. So that pretty much completes everything. Let me just give this a margin so that it looks better. I'll say 20 dp on all four sides. For fragment underscore a dot xml to this button I'll again give a margin here on all four sides and say 20 dp so that pretty much completes everything now going to fragment a we need to link that layout to our fragment class that is not done so far for us so I'm gonna say on create view this is the method where you expected to link both of them so here I'll say use the layout inflator object so what this does is take this fragment underscore a dot xml convert this into a Java object and link it with our fragment a the specifics of this method have been discussed in a separate video called layout inflator on my playlist because there is way too many things to explain so please go back and check it out if you're not clear with this same way I need to copy paste this for our fragment B so going here I'll do that and instead of fragment underscore a make sure to change it to fragment underscore B so that completes our fragments now our main activity does not contain any fragments so far if you go to the activity underscore main dot xml there is nothing but a relative layout which is plank. So let's add those fragments here in XML. So going to the design tab, go to the bottom, fragment A, select OK, drag and drop it to the top left. Again, another fragment, fragment B, click OK, drag and drop it right below fragment A. And that's it. Go to the text tab. For the width, I'm going to have match parent for this because I want this to take up the entire width. Same way for fragment the other one which we have match parent and everything else is pretty much done now there's only a few more things that I need to do one being if you remember fragment underscore a dot XML contains our button which is called click me I'm going to bring this button inside Java code of fragment a so for that I'll say button here again there's gonna be an error saying blah 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 press alt enter perform the necessary imports now we need to initialize this button. If this was an activity, you would say on create and you will try to initialize it over here just the way you do all the time. But there is a small problem. The problem is this on create of a fragment executes during sometimes with the activities on create, which means 
the activities on create contains the statement set content view where the appearance or the view hierarchy is built for the activity before this statement if you try to access the ui here you're going to get an error so inside the fragment we want to make sure that we do not access the ui before the activities view hierarchy is ready for that we are not going to use on create method there is a method called on activity created that tells us that the activities on create method has finished executing which means it is safe to access the ui hierarchy so in this method i'm going to initialize the button by saying button equals to get activity dot find view by id r dot id dot button there is no direct find view by id access in the fragment you have to call get activity dot blah 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 press alt enter perform the type casting same way in the fragment b which has the fragment underscore b dot xml we have this large text this text needs to be changed during runtime so i'm going to get a reference to this text inside fragment b so i'm going to go here say text view again the same policy applies for initializing stuff i'm going to go down and say text equals to get activity dot find view by id r dot id dot text view and that pretty much gets both the things for me so now when the user clicks on the button inside fragment underscore a dot xml we want to be notified now you will be tempted to use the on click attribute here by saying android on click equals to do and you will also be tempted to go to fragment underscore a dot xml and add the do method here but the problem is when you have a method inside your fragment underscore a dot xml by saying on click this do is expected to be found inside main activity dot java that means using the on click attribute is going to let the fragment underscore a dot xml find this do method inside the activity and not in the fragment that's why you don't want to use the on click attribute the reason is you want to keep all your things at one place so going to fragment on a dot java i'm not going to use the on click attribute i will use implements on click listener this is the traditional way of handling events in the buttons remember so i'm going to press alt enter implement the method click ok so now when the user clicks on the button whenever this on click is going to be triggered and every time the button is clicked you want to maintain a counter by saying int counter equals to zero and simply increment that counter so that pretty much completes the code for fragment a so now going to fragment b here i need to change this text whenever the user clicks on the button for that i'll make a separate method which says i'll have the new data here passed and then i'll simply say text so every time the change text method is called it's going to simply change the data of our text view right so this are individual building blocks how do we connect all of them together to work in the next video i'm going to show you guys how to use the interface and connect this in the meantime if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next vid have a nice day